G'day guys, welcome back to LSPDFR. We're back out here, just downtown Los Santos. Nine o'clock at night, we're working the night shift tonight and we've got our Victoria Police vehicles going on once again today and I've fixed all the other textures so things should be a little bit better in that regard in terms of vehicles but we're just hanging out. You know, just gonna start waiting for some calls and whatnot. Uh, I can actually put myself as available now so that's fantastic but we're just gonna see what trouble we can get into hopefully not too much and hopefully no tragic deaths occur but you know we just got to do our best to enforce the law and make sure everything uh gets done safely so we'll just get straight into it citizens reporting a disturbance in rancho all righty guys there's our first one there we're gonna head over there in code two no need for all the sirens and stuff, but we'll go over there and help them out. Don't want anyone getting hurt. So we'll, uh, it's not too far away either, so that works out quite well with us. But geez, these lights and stuff look good, don't they? So I probably shouldn't have driven like that there, but we'll try and get over there as quick as we can, except that goddamn train's in the way. Alrighty. What's going on here? Let's go and have a look. Hey, what's up, doll? I can't wait for you to hey ma'am. He looks a bit uh, troubled. What's going on here? You all right? Hello, are you the caller? Yes, sir. I'm so pissed. What happened? That man just trespassed into my property. Did he do any damage? No, sir, but I want a restraining order so he won't come back here. Oh, wow. Conversation is over. Please speak to the suspect. I want to get the other side of the story because she sounds like she's a bit too, uh, too stressed. Hey, what are you doing here? Nothing. What's wrong? Yo. Lady said you just trespassed into her property. Oh, really? I just stepped onto her yard for a short time. I see, but why did you do that? The wind blew my... Okay. The wind blew my money and it landed in her yard. I got it and I'll leave now. Okay, there we go. That all got sorted out very easily. Hey, hey, honey. Wow. Uh, okay, don't even have the option to talk to her. That was a very easy call to finish. <laughs> very, very good. Show me 10-8. Roger that, five, ocean, five. All right. One thing is, is we are here, we're in a sort of rougher edge of Los Santos right now, so we could get into a bit of trouble here. We do have the plate recognition going on so that we can hopefully pick some stuff up. Here's our fellow officers here. How you going, guys? We're going to hang it right here, and hopefully we have some more action soon. Always gets me a bit scared walking around here, because they don't like cops, the old gangsters. There's, uh... Plenty of them here, but I don't want any issues because I would not end up on the right end of that fight, I wouldn't imagine. No registration. Righto. Let's go and have a look. And hopefully there's no trouble. Once again, we're in a rough area. And it could be a lot of issues if things don't go to plan. Hopefully this is going to be nice and easy. Might also try and get a unit here over to my location. It's a local unit will do. Chamberlain Hill. Can't really blame this guy for taking too long because it is uh, a red light. There's not a whole lot he can do. But he's mimicking me now, so we're going to take it into our own hands and hopefully we don't steer him off in too bad of a direction. Just try and get ourselves over here. Don't hit that late. Oh, God. Okay. That'll do. Just going to pull in here next to him. This isn't exactly how I should be doing this, but I'll do what I can. And excuse me. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, we got some serious issues here, guys. And that's me dead. I knew I did not want any issues there, and of course, we got ganged up on 
They don't like mobs. That was very dangerous. I should have waited for more backup. Oh, well, you live and you learn, but get back on the horse and try and do better next time, I guess. So, guys, we're back out on the horse here. We uh, got a different car. Hopefully, different luck, that means. But we're here on the next night, so we didn't get too hurt. We just uh, got resurrected, but hopefully, we're going to have some more luck today. And, uh, yeah, we can do things a little bit better than we did last time. But I kind of want to make my way back down towards the upper end of the city. Not just because it's safer, but because that's sort of where I want to do this patrol. But, of course, if we get any calls along the way, we will attend to those as well. Okay, there, guys. We've got an expired license here. So, you know what that means? That means... You need to pull over. Hopefully, this doesn't mean a dire situation like last time. Shouldn't be as much gang violence around this area, which does put me at ease a little bit. But we're just going to probably try and do this one by ourselves. We could get him a little bit more off the road, but I think that's going to be all right. And that's why we didn't get a call. We were out of service. I didn't actually realize that. But what are you doing? Oh, no. Here we go again. Oh, what is with people today? What is with people? All right, we need an ambulance right now. Quick as possible. Ambulance. Assistance required in, We're going to uh, pick up the gun so that if she does come alive, we don't actually get busted there. And I'm also going to check the body. Just before the paramedics get into it there. Because that way, we've got evidence if we do need to charge her with some stuff. A lot of paper, lollipop, cell phone, and a jar of suspicious liquid. We can test that, which is a very good thing. And we'll also search the vehicle. Right. And thank you very much, paramedics. I'm all good now. Hopefully, we find some stuff to pin with some stuff. Scale coated with tan powder. All right, we're going to quickly see how this woman fares and then we can arrest her if we need to. And then we're going to be able to start with the uh, testing and pressing multiple charges. But she'll be going to jail for a very, very long time if she does wake up because she attempted to murder a police officer. But unfortunately, it failed. So we're going to need a coroner over here. But, I mean, as much as I wouldn't want her to die, that's just uh, what happens when you do that sort of thing. Gotta, gotta look after ourselves first, so we will get a tow car, tow truck, sorry, for this vehicle here. I don't know what's going on here either. We're gonna need a tow truck here as well. And we're gonna need one here as well. Tow truck assistance required in Vinewood. Okay, so the coroner's gonna take care of that. Tow trucks are gonna take care of all that, so we should be okay. But I'll tell you what, we're not having a hell of a lot of luck today. We're getting attacked a lot, but I guess that's all just part of it. Back on the horse. Alert on a stolen vehicle. Alrighty, guys. We are not available now. We are doing a traffic stop. And this one here looks like it's occupied at one time. Five. Ocean. Five. Roger we that. On a don't need backup at this current point. But, yes. That's reckless driving. So lucky we're trying to deal with something else here. But... Stolen vehicle, always a dangerous situation. Okay, Dave, we're gonna slow the traffic down. Ignore that siren. Alrighty. Hopefully, hopefully we don't get shot at this time. Okay, I am gonna get back up here because there's three people here. So we'll definitely request some patrol units. One should do. Burton. And we're going to just wait for him because last time we didn't. Yeah, we got butchered, Not but he is just, just there, so he should be okay. Alrighty, let's talk to him. Yeah. Jimmy, is that you? 
I first want to get a vehicle check, so I want to see All who it belongs to. Target vehicle license plate. Six eight Paul Young Young two zero seven. A traffic uh, violation. A possible stolen vehicle. Okay. Approach with caution. I guarantee this person is not Ricky Reed, so we'll have a look. Oh, I want all your documents. Careful. Name. Thanks. Angela Austin. Okie dokie. You are going to be in a lot of trouble. Let's go and get a ped check on this lady. Okay. Ma'am, you're going to have to jump out of the vehicle. We'll deal with the other ones later on. She refused to leave the vehicle. So we are going to have to do it a bit more forcefully, it seems. All right, get down. Beautiful. Okay. We're gonna arrest her. You're under arrest. Yeah, look, we're uh, a bit annoyed at this point in time. So because we need to just be safe for ourselves and for others, we're gonna make sure we pat her down. And she is going to be arrested for possession of a stolen vehicle. But baggy clear crystals, metal spoon with black powder residue, and a bong with white powder. Oh wow, she is in big strife. Alright, let's grab a hold of her. We're actually going to get a police transport vehicle for her. We're on our report. And she's going to be in big, big, big strife. I can tell you that much. But we're not writing a report. I'm all over the place today, guys. Sorry. Okay. Narcotics field test. Couldn't use my car for it, so I had to use this one here. But she had a lot of stuff on her. Clear crystals. Hopefully for her sake, they're not drugs. But I reckon they will be. Not cocaine. I bet it's meth. Not meth. LSD. Righto. She's got LSD. We'll uh, test this one as well. See what this ends up being. Not marijuana. Not cocaine. Taroin. So she's got... PCP and heroin. And we're going to test this last lot here. And it's fentanyl. Righto. She has been very, very naughty. <laughs> very, very naughty. Ignore all those cars are up. They're trying to get the suspect. Simple as that. Okay. She's been done for possession of cocaine before. So, she has, what does she have? I've already forgotten. PCP, heroin, and fentanyl. She has also had possession of a stolen vehicle. And oh, I believe an obstruction of justice as well. Yeah, she's going to be in a lot of trouble. I'm going to submit those charges. She's done for, but we want to just uh, check up on these pedestrians. Not pedestrians. These other members of the vehicle. Just to see what actually is the go with this one as well. Hold up. You can get out. Wait there. Okay, I want to talk to both of you guys. I would like your ID, please. Kiflam. Thanks. You look like you're fine. I don't think you've got any real reason. We are going to... You weren't driving, so that's no issue. 
We're going to quickly give you a pat down just because you were in a vehicle with a uh, drug addict. Got to be nice and careful. Hopefully you don't have anything. No, you're all good. All right, I'm going to buy you a taxi. Uh, yep, you can have a taxi. You've done nothing wrong, mate. Good one. All right. Your turn, mate. I'd like your ID, Careful please. Mom. Not you. Thanks. Talking to you. Kiflam. Thanks. Okay. Let's get a pet check on Eric Holder. Suspended too, but once again, wasn't driving. I was gonna quickly give you a pat down as well. Definitely should have stopped the traffic down these streets. Here's his taxi and he's had PCP and baggy brown powder. My friend. You made a mistake. Alright. My buddy's gonna arrest you. Jesus. What's happening? Great. He's trying to flee. The old stun gun out. We miss. Okay. We got units helping us out here. We should be alright. But he certainly didn't want to be uh, stuffed around, that's for sure. Dispatch, we have the suspect in sight. Thankfully, we got other units helping us out here. Bit of a struggle on a foot pursuit, I can tell you that much. Once again, we missed. <laughs> we got other officers running with us here, which is absolutely fantastic. He's not going to get away. He can try, but I doubt he's going to have much luck. A little bit closer and we should be fine. And that guy was trying to help us out there. This is an intense foot pursuit. Okay. My buddy is much faster than me. Finally got him. You're done, buddy. You're done. That's just another charge for him. Silly, silly boy. I've been waiting all day to this. Okay, well this guy, I'm afraid he's also going to be taken away to jail. Transport. Assistance required in, uh, Fantastic, and we'll uh, do a report for him in a minute when we get our car back. And we'll be on our way. Alright, so we've got the Ford Territory now, but because we can, we're going to quickly check that narcotics that he did have. Just see what else we're going to add on to his charge there. He had PCP already. I want to see what it is. I doubt it's marijuana. But we'll test for everything just in case and it actually is marijuana. So there you go. PCP and marijuana. That was not a smart decision. He almost got away too. I think their other friend just got uh, roped along for the ride there. And I don't think he actually uh, <laughs> knew half of what was going on. He probably knew more than I'd like to admit he did. But we couldn't pin him with anything. This guy, however... He had PCP, marijuana, but because he's a very silly man, he also was evading arrest, resisting arrest. There you go. So he's probably going to go to jail as well, unfortunately for him. There you go. That's all sorted. Let's get straight back into it, I guess. In Vinewood. Okay, guys, we're going to take that. I was hoping for a call. Suspicious vehicle. Alrighty. Code 2. I'm going to actually look at the map to see where we're going, but we'll try and get over there as quick as we can. Completely Hopefully, insane. we don't crash along the way. This vehicle is probably the best handling out of all the Victoria Police vehicles. So, hopefully, we can get over there without too many issues. I hope that we don't get uh, smoked with a, a bomb or something going on here. I uh, don't like our chances because we've had a pretty bad day, but 
depending how this goes, it might be our last one of the shift. It is early morning, so we might go through until daylight, but we'll see how we go. But I want to see what this vehicle is, what the go is with it, because it's uh, quite strong. Oh my god. Okay, it's shuttered. Don't know what's going on there. There's no one inside of it, as far as I can see. We're going to get a vehicle check on this uh, vehicle. Target vehicle license plate 24 Tom Ocean Ida 217. A possible stolen vehicle. All right, so it's Approach stolen. With caution. Stolen, stolen vehicle. We're just going to quickly see what's going on here. Not occupied. I'm going to search it, see if we can uh, have any idea what's actually going on here. Hasn't exploded yet, which is nice. Two empty baggies with a something. Don't know if that's going to let us test it. I can't actually read the end of that. Brown powder residue. We'll test it anyway, even though we can't really arrest anyone for it. Just so we can see what it is. See maybe what's going on. Maybe it was a uh, drug deal or something like that going wrong. Heroin. Alright. At least we've uh, sorted that out, but... I reckon that we'll probably just have to get a tow, co uh, tow car. Tow service. Tow car. Keep going and get a tow car. I just got a tow service out here and uh, get that one out of the way for us. And that is now going to bring us a code 4. We're all clear. That was nice and easy. That's going to be sorted pretty well. And uh, no one was harmed, thankfully, except the car was absolutely destroyed. Sadly, we couldn't find a suspect but at least no one was hurt and I wasn't watching where I was driving so I think we've got time for one more call when it does come about so I'll see you when we actually get one come up attention all units we've got possible trespassing alrighty guys we've got a trespassing call here nice easy one to finish us off here but it is four in the morning so it could actually be quite a dangerous situation a little bit far away but we will respond code three just so we can get out there It's coming towards the end of our shift, so we don't want to work too hard, of course. We had a pretty tough day. We've been uh, killed and shot at. And, yeah, most people would have gone home sick, but thankfully we didn't. Alrighty. Heading up to the richer area. Look okay, out. Yeah. Probably someone trying to steal some stuff. As always, though, if there's two people there, I want to get the both sides of the story. In this back road here, by the looks. Little back alleyway, is it? I don't know, actually. We're gonna just equip the stun gun, just to be safe. Didn't need to do that, I didn't realize it was gonna open for me. <laughs> We'll uh, go and see what's going on. Hey, punk, stop it! There's obviously someone there. Clearly is someone there. Down that side there. Okay. Can we climb up on the roof? Yes, we can. We're gonna take this way, this approach. Take the safe route. I was just gonna just jump off of the uh ladder, but probably not the smart thing to do. I'd say this is the suspect. Hello, madam. Is everything okay? Oh, hello, officer. Yes, everything is fine. Do you need anything? Yes, I'm here because I got a call about someone trespassing. And you matched the description. Did you know this was private property? No, I didn't. And I'm not going anywhere. Uh-oh. Well, if you're not going to move, I'm going to have to write you a citation. I'm not taking it. Well, I'm going to have to uh, actually uh, write a citation here. Attention all units. We are code four. 
and I gave her a 500 dollar citation. There you go. That's all sorted. She's got the citation. She said she wasn't going to take it, but uh, she did. So I'd say, if I can get rid of that, that there is going to be the end of this video. So thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Alrighty, guys, I'm just editing myself back in here again. I completely forgot to go through the court cases like I usually do at the end of the shift. And we've had a big one today. So there's two that I really want to go through with you guys. And I just went through my recording and possession of pcp it was actually lsd so she probably will be found innocent for that one but it'll be interesting to see how much time these two get because there's going to be a fair bit between them i'd say because they did a lot wrong so she's only 26 and uh she's actually not getting that much time in prison i thought she'd be getting a lot more than that and she actually was fined five thousand dollars for pcp even though she didn't actually have it so that's quite interesting but she was fined fourteen and a half thousand dollars with five years and one month in prison so Honestly, financially, of course not, but in terms of prison time, I think she actually got off pretty scot-free uh, with only that five years, but this guy here, with the resisting arrest and two lots of possession, it'll be interesting to see what he gets as well. He only got two years of prison with $8,749 in fines, so, you know, not, not terrible. He uh, got off alright as well, but hopefully it's enough to teach him a lesson. He is only 23, so he's got plenty of life to live. And I'm hoping that he's going to actually get, uh, you know, actually be able to be something in society. So that's what I'm hoping for anyway. But anyway, now I can actually finish the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.